Welcome to another read aloud at Green Kids Blue Planet. Today's read aloud is Latkes and Applesauce, a Hanukkah story, written by Fran Manushkin and illustrated by Chris Easter. Long ago in a village far away, there lived a family named Manash. Papa and Mama were tailors who had two children, Rebecca and Ezra. Every year when Hanukkah came, the family dug up potatoes for latkes and picked apples for applesauce. But one year winter came suddenly and snow began falling. Not a lazy flake or a little bit of flurry. No, this was a tremendous blizzard as if all heaven's feather beds had burst. Come, sunset is upon us, said Papa. Let us celebrate the Hanukkah miracle. So Papa sang the blessings and Mama lit the sham and Rebecca lit the first candle. Now, declared Papa, for the next eight days, we shall celebrate with feasting and gladness. Bring on the latkes and applesauce. Papa, said Mama, the blizzard has swallowed our feast. The potatoes are buried under the snow. And as for apples, we have none left. Oh, well, said Papa, then let us sip our soup. So sitting closely as birds in a nest, the family sipped their soup. Listen, said Rebecca, I hear someone crying. She opened the door, a crack, and in walked in a wet orange kitten. Mew, 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 the kitten cried. She lapped up a little dish of milk and fell asleep in Rebecca's lap. Now, Rebecca, said Papa, we must return this kitten to her mother. Papa, Rebecca said, this kitten is lost in the storm. That's why she is sad. And since we mustn't be sad on Hanukkah, I think we should keep her. A cat is one of God's creatures, declared Mama. Of course we will care for her. Rebecca hugged her mother. Mama, what shall we name her? A name should fit as well as a glove, said Papa. I will name her well, Rebecca would promise. But right now, I want to play dreidel. The kitten spun the dreidel so well, she won two nuts and a raisin. When the candles flickered out, everyone went to bed. On the second night of Hanukkah, the snow came down harder. I like soup as much as you, Papa told Mama, but I'd love to wrap my mouth around a latke. Listen, said Mama, did you hear that noise? There was a bark outside. Ezra opened the door, a crack, and in walked a skinny brown dog. This dog looks as hungry as a bear, said Ezra. He gave the dog the last drumstick from his soup, and the dog quickly gobbled it up. Ezra, said Papa, we cannot keep him. We have hardly enough to feed ourselves. But Papa, said Ezra, he is starving. Haven't you said we must feast on Hanukkah? Ah, uh, well, said Papa, a dog is one of God's creatures. Let him stay and share what we have. I will think of a good name for our dog, promised Ezra. A name should fit as well as a glove. That night, the dog and kitten played dreidel. When the candles flickered out, and everyone went to bed. On the third night of Hanukkah, snow was still falling. Mama sighed. Our soup is dwindling like a burning candle. If the snow doesn't stop, we'll starve. Now, now, said Papa. Where there's life, there's hope. On the fourth night, Papa repeated these words. He said them again on the fifth, sixth, and seventh nights. On the eighth night, Papa said, I see the sky is finally beginning to clear. Let us go and gaze at the stars. They may help us forget our empty stomachs. The dog leaped around in the moonlight snow. He jumped and ran and sniffed and dug. Papa gasped, oh, what a world of wonders this is. Our dog has dug up potatoes. Potatoes in the snow, Marvel Mama? It's a miracle. We will have latkes tonight, shouted Papa. Meow, meow, meow came a sad cry from above. The Holy One doesn't mew, said Papa, so our kitten must have climbed this tree. Papa climbed up to rescue the kitten, tucking her under his sweater, sitting far out on a limb. Papa said, ah, how beautiful is God's creation. I can see so far. 
What can you see? The children ask. Apples, my children. Your papa sees apples, red and round, hiding their glory under the snow. Apples still on the tree, said mama. A miracle is happening here. Apples are always a miracle, declared Papa, as he joyfully tossed them down. That night, Mama fried so many lakas, they were heaped up high, a golden treasure. Papa, said Ezra, I am going to name our dog Laka, because he found our potatoes. A wise choice, said Papa. The name fits like a glove. And our cat's name is Applesauce, added Rebecca, because she found the apples. A perfect name, said Mama. Then Mama and Papa and Rebecca and Ezra and Laka and Applesauce ate Lakas and Applesauce as much as their bellies could hold. Is the Menasha story a miracle? Who can say? It happened, and maybe that is a miracle enough for anyone. Thanks for listening and watching. What a beautiful Hanukkah story. If you honor Hanukkah, please share in the comments. What does your family do for the holiday? And if you don't, that's okay too. You can still try to make latkes and I'm pretty sure you like applesauce already. So maybe try out a new recipe if you haven't had it before. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to see more videos, please like, share, and subscribe to Green Kids Blue Planet.